we must all understand that the motivating factor that has caused rebellion in Jubilee was not for the proper management of the party, but for the proper, uh, sorry, but for the purposes of grabbing the resources that belongs to Jubilee. As we speak, that is happening, the spillage of the political party funds and the properties of Jubilee is happening under the watch and under the auspices and guidance and supervision of the registrar of political party. The, the High Court gave conservatory orders dictating that the current office is the one that is going to exist until the case is heard and determined. Even with that order, impunity has dictated to those offices that orders should not be respected, that the, uh, the, the, the rebellious group in Jubilee should manage the resources. I am informed as we speak about 90 million Kenyan shilling cannot be traced, cannot be accounted, it was never sanctioned by the party, that is the kind of the democracy we have established. Finally, on the question of the impartiality of the Speaker of the National Assembly, that must be addressed. There is no way a ruling coalition can have a partner who becomes the head of the second or third organ of government being an affiliate of a leading coalition. You can never have you can never have impartiality. And that is why currently, Honorable Sabina Chege, despite the fact that she has been dewhipped by the political party, still holds out, masquerades, and holds out as the chief whip thank for you. the thank, party. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh